Good morning, Destiny players, and welcome to another build video. This time on my beloved Hunter class. I am Bladeburger, your local trend chasing, click baiting, smooth talking idiot. Do the good stuff that the algorithm likes as it helps out the channel. In this video, Orpheus Rig, a nice build for it and some interesting notes about it. Let's begin. This exotic has been taking Onslaught by storm, rendering entire waves immobile, making bajillion orbs for allies, and turning Onslaught into a tether span fest. Even using it in normal 50 wave onslaughts, it does really good work. Easy supers with an average super giving back up to 75% back when placed right. It's strong and something to make 50 waves easy. Let's talk the main exotic for this build, the Orpheus Rig. These exotic boots allow tethers to return ability energy, all abilities including super, when enemies are tethered, get killed while tethered or damaged while tethered. It also allows the same for Morbius Quivers and gives that super an additional shot. The exotic refunds up to 50% super energy on the initial shot, but can go higher than 50% as you kill enemies that you tether, since just kills give super energy at base. With most tether as I pop, I get back roughly 60-70% to back with just a few kills on the tethered enemies. Let's talk class and mods, how I built this class to take advantage of tethers and the Void Hunter kit. For class, we're on Void Hunter, Deadfall Shatter Shot as the super of choice. When you pop it, it sits like a trap on the ground, tethering enemies that come near. Its duration extends as it tethers enemies. It suppresses and weakens them, and the deadfall tether lasts much longer than a Morbius Quiver tethers. Rest of the abilities are up to you, use whatever fits your playstyle. For aspects, vanishing step, dodging makes you go invisible. We also have stylus executioner, killing an enemy who has a void debuff applied makes you go invisible. This includes suppression, weaken, and volatile. While invisible through this method, you gain wall hacks, and meleeing weakens enemies. For fragments, Echo of Remnants, making damage over time grenade lasts longer. Use this if you're running one of those damage over time grenades. This build leans into grenades more, so I'm using this. Echo of Cessation, finishers make a volatile explosion, and killing volatile enemies makes a void breach, which gives class ability energy. I'm honestly using this one because I'm using a recluse with destabilizing rounds, and it does work. Highly recommend a recluse with destabilizing. Echo of Reprisal, kills while surrounded give extra super energy, 3 enemies within 8 meters to get it with a 1 second cooldown in between. Echo of Starvation, picking up an aura power or void breach gives devour, which gives health on kill. The in-game description says grenade energy, but they haven't changed the text, it only gives grenade energy on warlock when running a certain aspect. With the class stuff wrapped up with a nice bow that totally doesn't have a pipe bomb inside, let's talk weapons and stats. For weapons, an insanely good option is the Recluse. This weapon is a powerhouse in the Void kit. Better than Funnel Web in my opinion. Try to go for some Void weapon that works well in Void, but my personal pick is Recluse. For stats, this build leads into grenades, so split between intellect and discipline as you please. When talking mods, I decided to lean this build into a grenade build, with kickstarts and ashes to asses to both get grenade energy back quicker, but also super energy. Mod showcase time. On Helmet, double Ashes to Assets. Gain extra super energy on grenade kills with different energy based on enemy tier. Works well when tethering enemies as you get both the super energy from Ashes to Assets and the Orpheus Rig energy. We also have Harmonic Siphon, making your aura power on double kills or more with weapons matching your subclass type. On Arms, Grenade Kickstart. When using a grenade, consume all armor charges to gain back grenade energy. Requires at least one armor charge to use. Dear god, I hope the sandbox changes the final shape reverse the nerf that this got a while back. We also have Impact Induction, allowing power melee damage to give 17% grenade energy on a 7 second cooldown. We also have Fire Power, making an orb on a grenade kill with a 10 second cooldown. On Boots, skipping chess piece because it's all flex slots, double Innervation, giving grenade energy when you pick up an armor power. We also have Recuperation, or pick up skip a chunk of health. On class item, Double Bomber, giving grenade energy when we use our class ability. Most likely bugged right now as the ability gains are much lower than what Bungie's themselves recently nerfed it to. I repeat this every time I talk about it as raising awareness of it will get it fixed eventually. We also have Reaper, the next weapon kill after using our class ability makes an aura power. With the mods covered, here's the usual overview. Grenade builds are very similar to each other, I honestly missed the Seraph era where barrel crafting was more interesting. Anyways, let's get to how this build plays. This build is just incredible in Onslaught, allowing for lane lockdowns and total control over entire waves. Sometimes you can get 2-3 supers per wave if you get enemies to clump up well enough. It's a tried and true super spam build. In average Onslaught, I'm able to cast my super just about every wave, making orbs for my allies and stopping all enemies in their tracks. In Tormentor waves, it's even better for me, as most times I honestly ignore the Tormentor and save it for last and focus on the waves of enemies. 
Tether helps with that, and a second Tether helps deal with the Tormentor. It's funny how Tormentors went from being a nuisance in the Lightfall campaign to be a, a generally terrifying experience in Onslaught. Gives me hope for the Dread in Final Shape. Speaking of Final Shape, here's to hoping this build works in whatever activities that expansion adds. Try this build out for yourself today, it's really strong. Stay tuned for next week's build video, as I already have the next three planned out. Thank you all for watching. Blade Burger, out.